Good afternoon, Captains. We're about to start our next video, which is in the Delta Quadrant. Oh, we're almost done. We got takedown, was left behind, and dust to dust. Okay. And so, let's get started in takedown. The time has come to end the Vaudois threat to the Delta Quadrant. Our allies are assembling at the Janol and Dyson Sphere to plan our assault on the Vaudois homeworld. You will serve as the battle commander for the assault. Admiral Tuvok is waiting for you at the Janol and Dyson Sphere. He will brief you and our allies on our strategy. Good hunting. Okay, and we're going to get this Vaudois Pulse Wave Pistol, which is actually a really good pistol. Um, especially if you're able to upgrade it to epic quality. Okay. Let me make primary. Get this in a straight line and I trans warp there. Let's see, do we have any other space jumps? Nope, 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 nope. Oh yeah, got some epic, some stuff I'm slowly epiting, you know, bring it up to epic quality. How far I got it left. I just do it this way. Delta quadrant. Close enough. Which I'd be closer to it this way than traveling and burning up more video time for y'all. Oh, they came through here. Let's see if I can go in here. Begin takedown. Acknowledge. Flat towards the surface. Beam down. Okay. We are not yet ready to begin. While I finish preparations, I suggest you speak to the liaisons of our allies. Okay. 
Let's see. The cooperative asked me to inform you that they appreciate your assistance and are prepared to provide what assistance they can in the final battle against the Vaudois. The cooperative's main weapon is adapted Borg technology. Cooperative vessels can confuse the systems of opposing ships and cause them to fire on friendly targets. This tactic is most effective in mixed groups of ships, where the cooperative can turn the larger vessels against the smaller ones. Mm okay. The cooperative appreciates your partnership, and we are eager to end the Vaudoir threat to our quadrant. Our technological capabilities are at your disposal. Okay. I'm not sure I completely trust the Kazon after our experience with Mach Sesson, but they say they'll fight for us today. Maybe you'll have better luck reaching a consensus with them than I did. The Kazon have a large number of ships and fight without fear. However, their lack of organization makes slotting them into precise battle formations problematic. They'll go to war with you, but they may not follow every order. The Kazon are eager for battle. Our enemies will fall today. Okay. Good to see you again. Through my excellent diplomatic skills and some assistance from Admiral Tubak, I have managed to convince the Hierarchy Board of Directors that assisting us in this battle and ensuring the end of the Vaudoir will improve their long-term profits. The Hierarchy are experts at surveillance and espionage. If the Vaudoir try any tricks, the Hierarchy would be the ones we should send to subvert them. Hmm. Greetings! The Hierarchy is anticipating a profitable transaction under your guidance. Our surveillance and tactical capabilities are at your disposal. Okay. We have a firm contract with the Hazari. It would bring them great dishonor to fail to complete it, so I expect that we'll have their full support in this battle. The Hazari ships usually fight in pairs. One ship hangs back and provides shield support for the other. This gives them excellent defensive capabilities, but it comes at a cost. Their firepower isn't quite as strong as it would be if they weren't so dedicated to protection. Mm -hmm. Greetings. The Hazari will uphold our end of the contract to the letter, and we expect you to do the same. We specialize in defense, and our ships are at your disposal. Okay. The presentation will begin momentarily. Perhaps you would be willing to check in with the representatives of our other allies. We invited Eldex's people and the Herogen, but neither group chose to send a representative. I understood. I talked to our representatives. Let's see. Greetings. The Benthan Guard is honored to join you in the fight against the Vaudoir. We dedicate our lives to promoting law and order throughout the Delta Quadrant. Finding someone else with the same ideals is unusual, but most gratifying. There's that one. It's an honor to meet you again. I am eternally grateful for your assistance on my world. By joining you in this fight, perhaps I can begin to repay a small portion of the life debt my people owe you. Okay. Hello again. You've done so much to help us. It's only right that we help you this time. Greetings. Aiding you against the Vaudoir was a difficult decision for our people. We do not wish to ally with you, but we understand that ending Gaul's reign of terror is more important than our discomfort. Okay. If you are ready, I will begin the presentation. The bulk of the Vaudoir fleet has pulled back to Vaudoir Prime. We expect to face the final might of the Vaudoir, including Gaul's flagship. Our battle there will have five fronts, 
each progressively closer to the planet. Our rendezvous point will be here, where the mineral content of the moon will help to hide our ships. The Toure will secure the subspace tunnels in this area, while the Kabali will help the wounded. The Admiral has already given us our assignment. Our forces will assault the other side of the planet to secure the area against a possible retreat. Our Talaxian friends will be in charge of transporting prisoners of war. To give us the best possible chance of success, our battle commander will be able to call in one wing of our allies at each of the first four fronts. Each wing of allies has different tactical advantages. The cooperative can confuse enemies. The Kazon have many ships and fight without fear. The hierarchy have unparalleled espionage and surveillance abilities and should be difficult to take by surprise. Azari vessels fight in pairs, with one ship reinforcing the other's shields. This battle will be difficult, but we must prevail. Okay. is ready to begin the assault. I will remain behind to coordinate their movements, while you will be commanding the battle from the field. We have four wings of allies at our disposal to help you break through the Bodwar lines. I recommend deploying one wing in each area. Are you ready to begin? The Bodwar have sent out several large frigate scout forces. Which wing of allies do you want to assist you? Mm, let's see which uh, We are facing a large number of rather weak vessels. We need ships that would not be overwhelmed by numbers. The Kazon might be a good choice, because they have a large number of ships as well. The Hazari, another good option, because their powerful defensive capabilities would help in this situation. The Cooperative would perhaps not be a good choice. They could be overwhelmed by the number of Vodwar frigates. The Vodwar okay. have sent out several large frigate scout forces. We are see, facing a see, large number so of The Vodwar have sent out several large frigate scout forces. Which wing of allies do you want to assist you? Power send the Kazon in. An excellent choice. The Kazon number should Something not right Sorry. here. The Kazon are in the wrong position, and they aren't responding to my hails. They might double cross us, but I never thought they would be so blatant. But come to think of it, they did say some pretty suspicious things during the briefing. Fortunately, Admiral Tuvok and I have a backup plan. Sesson has been encroaching on Herogen territory for some time. They'll join us in battle for a chance to collect his ship as a trophy. So let me deploy. We will hunt.
explosion's been different lately. In this area is secure. What are your orders? The Terrain fleet has secured the subspace tunnels. The Vodwar will not be able to use them to attack or to retreat. We shall establish a medical flotilla and secure the area. Vessels of the fleet can transport any wounded, including Vodwar, to our ships for treatment. Okay. To the next front we go. The Vodwar have set up a cruiser picket line in this area. Which ally do you want to advance? Let's see. We are facing a picket line of cruisers, so we need ships that can withstand constant, persistent attacks. The Hazari could be a good choice. Their defensive capabilities would be a good match for the Vodwar cruisers. I believe the cooperative would also be sufficient to the task. I would not recommend the hierarchy, however. Their ships are more suited to espionage and surveillance. So fighting a large number of moderately I go, let's the Vodwar have set up a I go to Hazari in this area. Which ally do you um, want to advance? And then we'll see what they say. We are facing a picket line of cruisers, so we need ships that can withstand constant, persistent attacks. The Hazari, Hazari. and the Vodwar have set up a sound tactical choice. The Hazari methods utilize one ship to reinforce the shields of another. Vodwar cruisers do not have the firepower to break through the reinforced shielding. Okay. The Kazon Ogla will no longer stand by while the Relora and Nistrum sully our name with their treachery. I will make good on their false promises. Probably gonna go over here first, so. An excellent decision. The Hazari will make short work of those cruisers. Satellite security. Okay. We have defeated the first wave of Vodwar defenders, and we are entering position for our next offensive. Resistance has been heavier than expected, but our ships have so far proved equal to the task. Please remember to direct any wounded or prisoners of war to our flotilla at Alpha Front. That went well. What do you This one will be a cooperative. Let me see. We are facing battleships flying in formation with frigates, so we need ships that can disable the larger ships or otherwise neutralize their tactics. The cooperative would be a good choice. 
Their ability to confuse the opponents could result in the larger ships destroying the smaller ones with friendly fire. The hierarchy would likewise be a strong option. Their espionage and surveillance tactics may allow them to isolate the larger ships. Long the cooperative. Have constructed a defense an excellent strategy. The technology of the cooperative may be able to cause the larger ships to attack the smaller ones. Certainly the cooperative coordination and discipline will be more than a match for the tactical abilities of the Vodwar. That one right there. Let me head over here. Cooperative ships are performing at peak efficiency. I only have one option left, so... A wise choice. The espionage and surveillance capabilities of the hierarchy should help us prepare for any surprises the Vodwar might have in store.
forces are defeated, as I knew they would be. <laughs> what are your orders? We have broken through to their final line of defense, their command ships. However, in doing so, we have exhausted our supply of allies, and the Vodwar dreadnoughts are formidable. This will be a difficult fight. Okay. Not quite alone. The Herojin have matters well in hand, so the Rhode Island is at your disposal. I am temporarily taking the command of a cooperative vessel. You will not fight alone. The hierarchy also agreed to send a single ship to assist in the final assault. Under the command of yours truly, of course. <laughs> I'm finally getting to use my emergency command subroutine. But you would not believe the amount of paperwork I had to fill out. <laughs> Last but not least, the Missouri managed to spare a ship and put it under my command. Captain Neelix. Quite like the sound of that. I am impressed with the show of support from our allies. However, my tactical analysis is that our forces are in the field of The Bogwar are relentless. The probability of our survival is slim. This is one of the longest missions I've played in a long time. So I 
try to go this way some more. Well, at least I stopped some for a minute. This is a lot of ground battle and space battle. I'm ready to get this mission over with. Good, almost over wet. Because the final and hard part is right there. Let's hold on. Right here. Your persistence is a credit to your race. Welcome, my friend. But it is time you should have joined me story. when you had the chance. Your blood will drench the sands of our blasted home. Okay.
Although you are clearly not the brightest aliens in the universe, your bravery is admirable. And I do respect Starfleet for ending my people's long twilight. Surrender now, and I give you my word I will spare your people. You and the other leaders will need to be executed, of course. But that is only to maintain order. Personally, I bear you no ill will. That's twice you've refused my generosity. I should be insulted, but your pitiful blindness makes it difficult. <laughs> I think we're just ready to get gall over with. The Vardwar controlled this quadrant once, and our new allies have only made us stronger. Ooh. Is that the best you got? Now's your chance! Defeat Gore! Boy, he's hard to take out. The Vardwar Empire will never fall, and you will not even be pushed. this into the wall.
see where his gall at. I know there's a glitch somewhere. See how he gets there. Finally, we cannot be stopped. Time after time, we rise from the ashes, and we are stronger for doing so. Your logic is flawed, Gaul. You are already defeated. The evil I mistakenly unleashed on the galaxy ends at last. My people and the galaxy must believe the parasites were behind his madness. surrendered. What is your current situation? Were you able to determine why he returned to the surface? It was a tactical error. Even if underspace was closed to him, Gaul would have had more opportunities to escape if he had remained in his ship. Certainly. May I recommend Seven, Captain Kim, the Doctor, mm -hmm. and Neelix join us as well. They're inside. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Let's hear what Captain Ken had to say. Honestly, I wasn't sure about coming back to the Delta Quadrant. I have a family and a life back home, and the idea of being 70,000 light years away again wasn't appealing. But seeing the good we've done for the Gabali, and now stopping the Vaudoir, I think we were needed here. You were needed. Thank you. It's been a pleasure serving with you. I hope we meet again. I was responsible for the return of the Vadwar. Even though Admiral Janeway told me she might have done the same thing, it was ultimately my actions that allowed all this destruction to happen. I participated in the assimilation of many different species during my time with the Borg. 
Those acts weigh on me. The wanton slaughter caused by the Vodwar will do so as well. Okay. Nevertheless, I am pleased I could, in some way, make up for my actions. By assisting the Ture, working with the Cooperative, and fighting the Vodwar here today, we have helped end what began more than 30 years ago when I activated those stasis tubes and freed the Vodwar. Thank you. War is just a pointless waste of life. Usually for a political reason, it doesn't much matter in the long term anyway. I understand that sometimes we need to fight to defend those who cannot defend themselves. I respect that. But what Gaul was doing here was madness. It's one thing for him to want to rebuild his people. It's something entirely different to destroy dozens of worlds to do so. Okay, who else I gotta talk to? Oh, yeah, Neelix. I'm not a man who normally dwells on revenge, but when Gaul and his soldiers attacked my people, it was almost all I could think about. Dexa helped me to see that death doesn't heal wounds of the heart, but thank you. This quadrant is safer now that Gaul and his soldiers are defeated, and I'm glad I was here to see it happen. While this conflict was regrettable, it was, ultimately, for the greater good. Gaul's hubris and ambition blinded him to the harm he was doing to the Delta Quadrant and his own people. Now the threat is ended. There will be time to heal the damage he has done. Okay. Intriguing. This device is not familiar to me, but it does not appear to be of Vodwar origin. I will bring it back to Voyager for further analysis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the end of that mission. Takedown was a great, great mission so far. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and contact the Alliance. I ain't gonna read all that. I just get this. <sighs> well, folks, I hope y'all enjoyed that mission. <sighs> but like always, um, before I go ahead and get off, let me go ahead and see how much salvage I can gather. I'm currently sitting at 538. Let's see, salvage item, salvage item, salvage item, So far, I'm seeing none of these. So it has to be like equipment that you can salvage. <laughs> okay. Well, let me see how much salvage. Okay, so. Can I change? It's actually, actually quite good, so... Hmm... 
I'm gonna save my salvage. Oh, can't modify that one because it's part of that. If I can re-engineer that. Oh, let me see what I can re-engineer on that. Energy down. Oh, wow. That is actually pretty neat. I didn't know you can do that. But you can re-engineer certain things, I see. Okay, folks. Until next time, like always, thank you for watching and live long and prosper.